Tonight, at least 11 people are dead after a gunman opened fire on a synagogue in Pittsburgh this morning. Six people are still injured, including four police officers. That suspect is in custody and has been identified. The federal government says he'll face hate crime charges that could lead to the death penalty. Andy Rose reports on this developing story. A horrific act of hate. It was police cars everywhere, there were guns drawn, rifles. I, I was surreal. Multiple people were killed when a gunman opened fire inside a Jewish synagogue in Squirrel Hill, a historic Jewish neighborhood east of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. There were 11 fatalities as a result of the shooting incident. There were additionally six injuries to include four of the police officers. A local official said a worship service was in progress when the shooting began. Three different congregations hold simultaneous Shabbat services in the building on a typical Saturday, according to a former president of the synagogue. The people that are regulars there are people that the community loves and knows, and if any of them were injured, it's going to hit pretty hard. A law enforcement official said the gunman, 46-year-old Robert Bowers, made anti-Jewish comments during the shooting. There's a lot of anti-Semitism out there, and there's a lot of hate up, out there. Authorities said the shooting will be prosecuted as a hate crime. President Trump condemned the act. This wicked act of mass murder is pure evil. Now federal investigators are combing through the suspect's social media postings, hoping to find clues about what motivated him to kill. You have a situation here where you have disturbed minds with hate in their heart and guns in their hands. Andy Rose, 2 News, working for you.